Hi peoples, it's me Tristan and once again we have a Rubicon model to look at and this time it's the infamous Panzer IV. The profile looks like this. Decals, I really like those. It's the same decal sheet as the Stag had. Assembly guide, three sprues, a lot of options in the look of the tank. You know, you get the shirts in, which is really nice. You get some other bits and pieces you can add on it. Now as it's assembled, I'm going to show you the piece here. You use like a wine cork or a champagne co bottle cork uh, to glue this with some super glue. Because super glue, you know, you can clip it off at later, but it'll keep in place while you paint or prime. As with the stock, I uh, glued on the shirts in because uh, I'm not gonna bother painting underneath because it'll be hidden anyways. I thought I'd really like to add some damage to it so I cut one of the shirts and plates out and use the file and the knife to make it a bit you know broken and I want to point out something that uh, Daniel Guest uh, posted on the Stag uh, video that uh, compared to for example the Warlord Games resin kits this Rubicon model shirts and come without the uh, actual uh, frame that it, that was there to keep the shirts and on and it it replaces it with this more of a gamer or like a faster option I don't mind that but if you're going for a, like a historical bit then it might be like a issue for example as with the Stug I really wanted the crewman so I got this guy in here it's again from the Perry miniatures and it's the Martyr 2 crew set and this guy I cut off his legs and trimmed the waist a bit to fit him in here and bent the ha hands and the head a bit to make him uh, look like his like leaning against the hatch here and uh, as with the stock I'm pretty sure he's a bit too big for this tank like just a little bit but it doesn't bother me front piece here moves which is nice I want to point out a thing with the shirts and they didn't use the real frames that were there to hold the shirts and on which I'm fine because this is a gaming piece and more of a simple kit so I'm, I'm all for that for some reason their gun barrels come without the hole in the front it's uh, flat what they should do or uh, would be better if they did was um, leave a little like uh, hollow space or not even a hollow space but just like a little uh, dent here in the middle so yeah I'm gonna go and prime it now the same issue that I, I think I mentioned before lack of instructions on the decals like I wanted to put one here because the stock has the cross on the side skirts but it turns out probably they didn't but I still wanted to put one up there they kept numbers up on the turret side skirts and the number on the back here and usually a cross on this lower bar here no number here but I wanted to add a number because I thought that would be cool and that's with decals another thing is with the turret itself it's like uh, with paint it's super tight in there so it moves with a bit of difficulty and it definitely scratches paint underneath it you gotta be careful with that or you gotta acknowledge that that you will lose some paint underneath the turret as with the stocks commander I went quite simple on this and as pointed out by Bill uh, from the Panzerman bunker Eagle think it should be on the right side of his jacket not on the left so I changed it over here and I really enjoyed painting this tank how to score this well with all the options that it has you know without uh, shirts and, and with the shirts and, and different guns and you know a lot of uh, variables and all those little pieces and uh, bits you can add there I think this is also an 8 tanks out of 10 here's my little uh, German vehicle collection footman as well here so I think I should be looking to get some more footmen I guess I should also add these vehicles here even though they're they are just they're civilian vehicles and will be treated as terrain pieces anyways uh, thank you again for Jamie Tranter for this uh, lovely opportunity and uh, I hope this was entertaining or somehow useful and anyways thank you for watching keep it safe and I will talk to you in the next one